Hi there guys, Johnny Rose here and welcome to my content Artemis review. My content Artemis review with my exclusive content Artemis bonuses. Because if you pick up content Artemis today through my link below, using the link below this video, not only are you going to get 90% off content Artemis, so you're going to be making huge savings on this incredible new content curation, content hunting software from the New Zealander marketer Walt Bayliss. Not only are you going to make huge savings if you pick it up through my link below, you're also going to get my content Artemis bonuses, which I'll be talking to you in a moment once I've taken you through Content Artemis Discussed, what it's for. There's going to be a demo. There's actually going to be a 20 minute demo so you can actually see it in action, see how the software is, how easy it is to use and see if it's for you. But I've also got some bonuses which are very complimentary for Content Artemis. In fact, I'll talk about the bonuses first, then we're going to jump in, talk a little bit more about the Content Artemis product, and then you're going to see an actual demo of Content Artemis in action so you can see what you're getting today when you pick it up through my link below. Because basically with Content Artemis, what are you getting? Well, with Content Artemis, you're getting a software which will enable you if you are someone with a website or who has any needs to find content, maybe you're blogging or you're an article writer, you need content for your own website, it's gonna go out and find content for you. In fact, let's just go through these steps very quickly and then we'll talk about my bonus before we jump into them. With Content Artemis, there really are five very simple steps. You can see them here. Number one, you tell Content Artemis, you tell this software, and you're gonna see this in action in a moment. You tell Content Artemis what content you want to find, right, by entering in your keywords. You know, words like keto or crypto or affiliate marketing or dog training, you know, whatever niche or vertical you're in that you need content for, you need articles for, you need writing copy for. And you type it in, you'll see this in action in a moment. Number two, Content Artemis goes off and finds the best content for your needs. So it crawls the internet, goes out and finds all the articles pertaining to keto diets in Japan. And it pulls into the Content Artemis software all these articles into one dashboard. So it'll go out and find the best content for your needs, bringing you the most relevant, high quality and high converting images, copy and videos. Pulls it all together and you'll see this in a moment. So don't worry if this is a little theoretical. Number three, it builds. So it actually quickly builds a blog post for you quickly by adding all these articles together. It brings in articles, it brings in images, brings in videos. It basically is done for you content, all written for you. Then you can edit it, the content that's put together, you can edit, now you can spin your text. Now spinning is when you put in another person's article, then the software changes the words around so it's 100% original. Or you can manually edit yourself, add in extra elements, make it your perfect post. But the point is it's putting in other people's articles and you can then, if you wish, edit it manually so it's more original, or press spin, and you'll see this in the demo, and change it into an entirely new article using the words that are already there. Then finally, it allows you to publish your content to your blogs, to your WordPress site, to your any website you have, and to your social media with social post sharing. And that's it. So basically, it goes out and finds content written by other people, brings it into a software dashboard for you to look at, it changes it into an original article, then posts it to your website or to your WordPress press site to your blog or to your newsletter or wherever you want to publish it and allows you to share it. That's it. It's a content finding, hunting and editing tool. Now, you're going to see a demo of this in action in a moment and you're going to see why this is so cool and powerful. Hopefully, if you're watching this, you understand that content is crucial, right? Content is what helps people find your website, find your business. And actually, you need to be a good writer, right? For your content to rank, for people to stay on the page, for them to come and find you, you need both to be a quality writing and you need volume. That's how you need to be found online. And a tool like Content Artemis makes it really easy for you to get lots of articles published to your site and lots of quality articles published to your site without you having to do any writing yourself or without you having to pay other people to do the writing for you. Now, that's what the product's about. Let me tell you about my bonus and why I think it's quite important. If you do pick up Content Artemis through my link below, and there will be a demo, why you need a bonus like mine. Because if you fill up your site with content and you build out a beautiful site with lots of 100% original articles powered by Content Artemis, that's great. But it's no use if no one comes to your website. I see this time and time again in internet marketing. People build up these blogs and these websites which are filled to the brim with great blog content and yet no one comes to it. They get no traffic, no visitors 
and therefore no sales or conversions. And this is the same with you're an affiliate marketer or in e-commerce or you're a coach or a consultant or you do B2B marketing, the same problem everywhere. People think blogs are what get people to your website and it does, but it's only 5% of the traffic issue, which is why I want to give you my own product, my own exclusive product called FOMO Traffic, which I give to my thousands and thousands of customers who buy any software or tools from me. Basically, FOMO Traffic is something I created to give and help anyone who's struggling to get visitors to their website, visitors to their web page. Now, check this out, FOMO Traffic. What it's going to do, this is my bonus. This is what you will get automatically if you pick it up through my link below, Content Artemis. You're basically going to get this traffic solution which is gonna drive massive organic traffic from Quora, Instagram, Snapchat, and Pinterest. I'll say that again. Quora, Instagram, Snapchat, and Pinterest. You're going to get um, massive laser-targeted buyer traffic from these four platforms. Now, these aren't the most popular platforms normally, right? And that's why it's so powerful because most people are chasing down buyers and visitors and web traffic from Twitter and Facebook, which leaves these platforms really under leveraged and prime for someone like you to start pointing towards your blog, your website, which is powered by Content Artemis. So I, if, and you can see, this is normally a paid product, but I give it to you for free today. You can see some really great testimonials. Now, Philip Johansson down here, Philip is a YouTuber. He used FOMO traffic to grow his YouTube site. He now has 14,000 visitors. I actually think it's much more now since I last looked. He has 14,000 um, followers, subscribers on his YouTube channel. He used FOMO traffic, my bonus, which I'm giving to you today, if you pick up Content Artemis through my link below, to grow his channel to 14,000 uh, subscribers. Then you have Dan Khan. He also has a big YouTube channel. I think it's more like 7,000 uh, subscribers. He again used FOMO traffic to grow his following, to get massive targeted traffic from Quora, from Instagram, from Snapchat, from uh, Pinterest, which is what you're getting. You're going to be able to point this at your Content Artemis powered blog and website. You're going to be getting loads of laser targeted buyers from these four platforms. Then you have Bill Ang, who's an affiliate marketer, and it's Bill Ang whose results I have here. This is how he, this is the kind of money he was able to make with the traffic from FOMO traffic. So if you want to be making money with FOMO traffic, you know, with Content Artemis, if you want to increase your followers and your subscribers and your web visitors to your Content Artemis powered websites, you need my bonus, which you'll be getting completely for free. Normally I pay, charge people $97 for this. You'll get it for free if you pick up Content Artemis through my link below. That's all you need to do. And then you'll get this FOMO traffic, this incredible traffic solution, which will help you generate sales very quickly from Quora, Instagram, Pinterest, and Snapchat. Point it at your Content Artemis powered website and you're going to be making a lot of money very quickly. So I hope that's exciting. You're basically getting everything you need. You get with Content Artemis, you're getting content. With my bonus, you're getting traffic from four um, websites, completely organic, no paid traffic. You've got everything you need to start making money online. Content, free content, which Content Artemis will find from around the web that you can post to your website, and traffic, visitors to hit your website, all completely for the price of Content Artemis. So I'm now gonna hand you over to a demo. When you're ready, it's quite a long demo, it's 20 minutes long, but it's worth it if you want to see what you're getting. I do strongly suggest you pick up Content Artemis because it's a real steal. You're saving yourself having to waste money buying content online. You're saving yourself having to write the content yourself. You're saving money having to do all the manual editing and formatting, which you can do if you wish, but Content Artemis does a very good job as you'll see in the demo. So when you're ready, come back and click the link below and pick up Content Artemis now. Johnny Rose from Push Button Profits helping you make money online with Content Artemis. Enjoy the demo and then come back and click the link below. Let's jump in and have a look, shall we? So we talked about the fact that it's been uh, created from what we saw with Social Post Magic and the need to bring in content and add a more human element to it and still make it easy to be able to find this content. And guys, without any further ado, let me jump in to Content Artemis. Can everybody see my screen? Just give me a one if, if we're good. Everybody good? Nods and smiles, everybody good. All right, let's jump in and have a look at Content Artemis. Now, remember what I said is that our goal is to bring in content in an easy way and add a human element to it. And we start by bringing in that content. We start by bringing in that content in the same way as we do with Social Post Magic with RSS feeds, okay? So 
We start with RSS feeds and let me come across here and we can categorize our feeds. So if we've got different blog sites and different clients, we can bring in different feeds. So let me start with one here. Maybe um, uh, I want a category for business coaching. Now let's come up and create a, uh, a new feed and bring in a feed about business coaching. Now, where are we going to get a feed about business coaching? Well, in the first example, of course, you can type in business coaching RSS feed, okay? Business coaching RSS feed and check it out. There's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, okay? And you can get your RSS feeds literally just as easy as that. What if you really liked Neil Patel's blog, all right? Neil Patel is, is a genius when it comes to content marketing. So any WordPress blog, something for you guys to know, any WordPress blog, okay, you can pick up um, the feed by simply typing the word feed at the end of the URL, okay? So for me, it's waltbaylorscom slash feed, okay? And it looks like this. When I look at neilpatel.com slash blog slash feed, this is what an RSS feed from Neil Patel's blog looks like, okay? So one of the first things that you can know is you can bring in content from any WordPress site and 35% of the web is WordPress, just by adding slash feed onto the end, okay? So I could bring in Neil Patel's blog. So let's let's drop this in. Let's uh, create a new, content, new category uh, for content marketing, okay? And let's, uh, let's bring in Neil Patel's feed. So for a content marketing category, I've got Neil Patel's blog, and I just copy and paste the feed in here. Generate, that's all I need to do, okay? So I've got Neil Patel's blog feed coming in, but one of my favorite sources of content via our, so you can do, again, you can do that on any feed, by the way, on any WordPress blog. Uh, as Neil himself says on this very same page that we were just on, there are services like FeedBurner, which allows you to create um, RSS feed. Like there's a lot of different ways to get RSS feed. One of my favorite ones is Google Alerts, okay? Now this is free and available to anybody on the web, all right? And what this allows you to do is create content that is completely unique to you, right? So let me give you an example. If I wanted to create a, con uh, a blog and I was, um, not just uh, not just um, content marketing as we just did with with Neil Patel, right? But I wanted to be a bit more specific, and I wanted to say, find me an alert about content marketing and SEO specifically. Content marketing and SEO. Now, need to make sure I'm spelling correctly. Content marketing and SEO. Now, as you can see, there's quite a lot of material coming through here. So what do I need to do? I need to come up here and click show options. And instead of delivering to my email address, I want that delivered to an RSS feed. And then I just click on create alert. Now I've got an alert specifically about content marketing and SEO. And I've got that little icon there. I just right click that and copy it and bring it into my content Artemis system. So again, I'm gonna put it in my content marketing category, the uh, alert about SEO and drop that in. Okay, did I not put it in correctly? I may not have. Content marketing alert. Let's see. Feeds generate. Okay, let's see if that came in and it's just giving me an error right now. Okay, let me come back to one that I know is bringing in details, business coaching. All right. I'm glad Brian's joining us. Brian, our resident SEO specialist. There we go. Just dropping in a feed about business coaching. There we go, one that we had from a Google alert. Now, so I can literally have any number of feeds coming into my system on any number of topics that I wanna have, all right? Brian Cato, if you've just joined me, just uh, drop a, a one in the chat box and say hi, man, because I'm about to get to the SEO component of Content Artemis, and I hope that you can um, you can see where we're at. Okay, so now we start with feeds. 
Next, we want to start to build an article. Hey, it's Tuesday. Let's post something out onto our social media and onto our blog. So we come across the articles and we're going to create a new article right now. So we're going to give, give this article a name. This is going to be uh, Content Marketing 101. Okay, that's our article name. Now, we can say, which feed do we want to get this content from right now? Okay, so I'm going to choose my, uh, my Google Alert feed just for fun. Brian, nice hat, man. I like it. All right. Now, this content that's coming in, we've got, we've got uh, image previews. I can go and actually look at the post itself. So if I'm looking at this content, okay, and I'll say, that looks interesting. Is that the actual kind of content I really want to have right now? So I can load it up. Let's hope that it's not too much of a slow site. Okay, so we've got some we've got some good content there. That looks pretty good. So I can go through and say, yep, select that post. And in fact, I like that image panel as well. So I'm going to click on the image and select that post. Okay, scrolling down, dealing with a the boss. There we go. It, uh, select that one. That looked good to me. Okay. Um, how to engage your board members. That looks good to me. So I'm literally just choosing... I'm literally just choosing a few different articles from my feed. And Brian's just said, one tip on the RSS feed is to use advanced search operators such as quotes, plus and minus. Might get you to uh, expand on that a little bit more in the group. Brian, and let us know um, your thoughts there. So I've chosen some, some articles. I've said that one, that one, that one. This is some great content. Let's see what we can put together from here, okay? Now, I go to the selection. I've selected those articles. And now I can see the full article and be able to pull content from there. Starting with the image. If I like the image, I can click on the image and that's going to be added to my end article, okay? Now, watch what happens here. When I highlight text and let my mouse go, it pops up and says, whoa, let's look at this and see, is that the kind of content you wanna to add to your finished article? And that's what we're doing. We're literally just highlighting the bits we want and I'm saying, yep, that's the text I want from this particular RSS uh, article. I can look at this one and say, okay, I like that section of text added in. Next, so I've got uh, a couple of different things right now. I want this one, okay, there we go. And so what I've done is I've pulled in some articles and now I've literally chosen the little bits from those articles that I really like. Now I can go to my editor. And the last step is let's put in a video as well, if you want to. So I can search for a video. Let's talk about content marketing. Okay, search uh, by keyword in YouTube. I get all of the YouTube videos that pop up from that search term, okay? And I can literally just add that video into my end article, okay? So now when I get to my article, Guess what? I've got the image that I added. I've got the content that I added. And this is really important to me anyway, from an ethics point of view. Every time we add content, it automatically adds the source of that content. Okay? So when we're curating content, we're attributing the original source. Now, all right, cite your source rule number one. Absolutely, right? Every single time we're selecting a component, it's bringing in the source. Now, somebody can remove that if they want to. But from our perspective, we add it immediately. So now we've got a pretty cool article, right? Now we've got a pretty cool article. Now, Brian Cato, I'm going to ask you for, for, uh, for your eyes just for a minute. Now, we want to have this article uh, SEO ranked in the best possible way we can for a business word of, let's say, business coaching. So I'm going to say, let's go and have a look. How well are we doing with this business coaching? Now, the first thing it shows me is there's a lot of search terms here that I can use to generate content about business coaching. But when I look at the SEO optimization, I can check the content and see how I'm going live as I create this article. Live as I create this article. The focus keyword business coaching doesn't appear in the post title. Well, let's change that, shall we? Business coaching. Okay. 
All right, so that'll update in just a second. So now we go, go along and say, what else is missing? The post title is too short. That probably just fixed it in, in that second. I should add an H2. I should definitely add an H2. So I come in here and I hit the enter button. Watch what happens here, guys, because this is the human element of creating amazing curated content. As I hit the enter button, I get the option to add all kinds of blocks. I can add in images, paragraphs, headings, block quotes, audios, um, media files, download links, HTML, literally anything I want to, okay? So I wanna add in a heading right now, all right? So I'm gonna add in a heading that says, business coaching is an essential skill, okay? So that we can start to improve our, um, our SEO, the focus keyword business coaching doesn't appear in the first paragraph. Well, let's change that as well. So we come in here, business coaching. All right. I'm literally building my very best opportunity to have my content ranking from the moment that I publish it. So let me check it again, see how we're doing. We've ticked off a few, haven't we? Okay. Doesn't appear in the first paragraph. Did I not put it up here? I might need to go back and through. But guys, can you see? And it also says the word business coaching is not appearing enough times in your text. So I need to come down here and add it a few more times. Business coaching. Now, obviously, I'm being silly by just inserting random words in random places. But you get my point. Okay. So this is true content curation. Being able to take snippets and then curate them. Okay. Now, one of the cool things that we've added here is what we call a snippet library. Because as I'm curating this content, there are going to be things that I want to put in here all the time, as in a link to my website, maybe. All right, a call to action. So I can come in here and drop in a snippet straight from my snippet library, okay? So I drop in here a snippet, okay? One of my things here is a snippet. Actually, let me show you my snippet library first. So my snippet library, I've got in here a, a snippet, Agency Bud is the software program for digital agents. Add our software to your business to find out more about recurring revenue, right? So I can just add that in. Can we place all the sources at the end of the article? Ron, that's a great question. At the moment, they all come in directly under the piece of text itself, but I like that suggestion, okay? So snippet libraries, we can upload a, uh, we can upload a CSV file. So if you've got lots, lots of pre-written content you want to add in there, you can upload it as a CSV, okay? Or you can just create snippets, a signature, a, a call to action, um, a, a highlight, whatever it is that you want to add in there. You can also add in into the snippet library comments. You know, some comments that you can just add in randomly. I agree with this sentiment completely. That's why we built Content Artemis. Insert. All right. So you can have your own snippet library that you can insert. We have a, a complete media library as well, all written in here. OK, so let me uh, show my snippets. That's the one I want to add. Add it in. Fantastic. All right. So I literally just added in my little call to action and my signature line right there. OK, uh, Brian asked, does it support block quote? Yeah, absolutely. So let's drop in a block quote. Here we go. Block quote. Quote being, um, Brian said I should, BrianCato.com, <laughs> Brian, is that good? All right, so yes. So now we've got, a, we've got our article, right? We're ready to go, we've checked our SEO, looks good, looks amazing, um, everybody happy? And now I can publish this out, all right? Now I can publish this out and my, Here's the point, where do I publish it to? I'm gonna save this one as a draft, okay? So I'm just saved that as a draft, I can come back to it. Where do we publish to? We publish to WordPress, number one. Zapier, number two. And importantly, Social Post Magic, okay? So we can create posts that turn up in social post magic drafts, okay? Now, in this version, not here, the guys are just finishing it, all right? It'll be there probably tomorrow or the day after. But when we click publish, one of the options we get is publish to social post magic. Now, we could have built into this program 
the ability to publish to WordPress and Blogger and Tumblr and Reddit and all of the other places that Social Post Magic already posts to. Easy to do, right? But my point is to fuel sales of Social Post Magic for you. So when we create content and we then can say to, to, a, to our new content client, hey, would you like an easy way to distribute this across your social channels? Here's Social Post Magic. And, and by the way, they connect. So when you publish content, it shows up in your drafts in Social Post Magic and from Social Post Magic can go straight out to everywhere. Guys, is that good? All good so far? Now, there's, some, there's one more thing that I want to show you. So let's say that we're building an article. Let's go and create another new one. And I'll do a short one this time. So we've got uh, content marketing. Okay, and I'm just going to grab one tiny little snippet and show you this little bit as well. So this time I'm going to bring it in from Neil Patel's feed. Okay. Right, so here's some uh, posts from Neil. Great, I'm going to select that post. All right, let's go to my selection. There's my post. I like his image. I've added that. I'm going to add in that content. Cool, load, done. No video for my demonstration. All right, just the content that I selected from Neil's blog. There it is. Okay, now, as we, sh as we show, we've brought in that the uh, attribution tag, okay? But here's something really cool. What if I wanted this to be completely unique? So I don't really want to plagiarize Neil Patel, even though I'm attributing it back to him and he's going to be happy for the backlink, okay? I want this to be completely unique. So in that way, I'm actually, uh, I can delete the attribution tag. Don't panic, I'll show you why. Because now I can spin that article completely, all right? So watch the, watch the wording here, okay? With a one-click spin, all right? Article recreated, and now we have unique content. Okay, it's been spun. Now, anytime you're spinning text, you need to be careful. You need to go back through and uh, make sure that it, the language comes through. But what we've created with Content Artemis is the ability to bring in content from any source, curate that content, images, videos, snippet texts, add your own inserts, all right? Spin it if you want to, and then publish it out. Stephen, I'm not sure. I didn't say that specifically. Stephen's just asked, can it spin uh, text brackets automatically? I don't know, <laughs> is my honest answer, um, but it should be able to. So I'll make sure that, um, that that's there before launch. Okay, guys, what do you think? Everybody good? So good, Walt. It's awesome. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> so what's the point? Let's come back and let's, let's have a look at why have we created this tool? We've created this tool, A, because every business needs content and they know it. Okay. And B, because we wanted it to be super easy to create something at the end that looks great has that human element and can be published everywhere using our existing tools. 